And you're live on the Journeys channel here on Multi TV. You're live on GSTV as well as Go TV. That has been our live coverage of the Minister's press briefing from the Information Ministry. We've had some updates from the Ghana Health Service. We've also received some updates from the NBSSI, as well as some updates on the payment of locked up funds of people who have invested with the non bank institutions. And you have the, the Information Minister as well as the Director General of the Ghana Health Service. So far, we are told that there was some explanation as to why Ghana seemed to be uh, have hit. Why Ghana seemed to have hit the peak as far as infections are concerned. The positivity rate has been put at 2.85. And uh, we are told that we have to observe the protocols in order to keep it low. So far, the testing centers have cleared the backlog. And going forward, we may not record uh, major inf uh, infection rates or in terms of the records that are put out there uh, will be low going forward. We also made to understand that 450 people in excess of that number are in isolation and there are about 37 treatment centers all across the country that are dealing with cases of COVID-19. Now on businesses affected by COVID-19 because of the lockdown and the restrictions, we are told by the NBSSI on measures being put in place to help them assess the 600 million stimulus package put in place by government. We are told by the director of that board that an online portal has been developed which is currently being stress test uh, and will soon be open for applications to come through. It is the expectation that some 200,000 businesses will benefit from the 600 million package uh, that has been made available uh, by, for, for, by government for these businesses uh, to support them because of the effect, the negative impact of COVID-19 on their businesses. Meanwhile, I'm sure you have heard about the uh, treatment in Madagascar that appears to be doing some magic there. The AU is following this and we are told by the Director General of the Ghana Health Service that we'll be receiving samples and of course that will be sent to the FDA for some testing and advice before it will be administered to any patient if need be, that is if the green light is given uh, by the FDA. So that has been the updates from the Information Ministry uh, on the Minister's press briefing. Uh, we also told that our recovery rate is quite good compared to what is happening on the continent and even elsewhere. And they are very much committed to making sure that we improve the recoveries, especially with the huge number of the cases being mild cases or asymptomatic.